One of the great improvements of Tesla FSD Beta 10 is how accurate and pronounced are the visuals. Really good visual improvements, friends. In my two previous reports about FSD Beta 10, I showed you some uh, performances of how it zooms out into intersection, how clearly it does the work around the, at the roundabouts. Now I have another video that I want to share with you by Brandony916, who says, wow, the visuals are more accurate and pronounced no more jumping of the world around check it out edges of the roads stay instead of twitching i just had to show this look at how stable the display is it's no longer jumping around so the world's no longer like jumping around as i move indeed as you are seeing his video you can see how pronounced and accurate are the videos and the user experience is really good uh, the ui is really good and the edges of the road stay instead of twitching now i'm looking at some comments under his video people say well there is still some jumping and another person says jumping around of the lines but the stop sign and the cars seem stable and another person asks have speed signs always persisted like that after you pass them or is that new and another person says it's normal so let me know friends your thoughts on how do you think about this fsd is performing now with a very clear view of um, intersections and accurate and pronounced visuals as well as well as uh, edges the road stay uh, instead of twitching you know um, th th some testers also mentioned that fsd beta 10's highways performance still felt very similar to navigate on autopilot this is not to say that the improvements rolled out to fsd beta 10 are strictly incremental of course as it remains to be seen how the new update performs in more challenging situations uh, these tests would likely be done and shared in the coming days as fsd beta testers push the newly released iterations of the driver assist systems to its limits interestingly enough a number of full self-driving beta testers have not that the update is in their mind indeed quite mind-blowing in the way that the system is so much smoother and more confident than its already impressive predecessors now improvements i agree mind-blowing not necessarily because i'm looking at some places online and people don't think so but great significant improvements indeed now this was hinted by the fsd beta tester ai addict on youtube who proceeded to test v10 on san Francisco's Lombard Street. The Lombard Street test was an overwhelming success with full self-driving Beta 10 navigation. The twisty road confidently uh, and without any um, uh, navigating the twisty road confidently and without any disengagements. Elon Musk has been pretty excited and optimistic about full self-driving Beta 10, not noting recently that the update would blow minds. Depending on the performance of full self-driving Beta 10, Tesla may release its next update v10.1 about two weeks later what do you think friends I think the next update will be of course much better we'll see what improvement comes in comparison to this one if these are released out without any issues then the company could finally release its request full self-driving beta button request FSD beta button which has been promised um, four months uh, now and not uh, in this current version so um while the release notes indicate just bug fixes for the release update in this release are some improvements to the lane lines these look more matured close to what would be in commercial release much of the fuzziness has been removed and lines and colors are cleared now in terms of turns as you saw in my previous reports on this one beta testers are beta testers are reporting great improvements to the count confidence in performing turns similar to what we saw between v8 to v9 now on fsd uh, in one place i read on twitter saying that it's the the full self-driving v10 is acting as a more confident driver now in this release the theory was that we were going to see the same ai powered vision first stack power the highway driving of navigate on autopilot rather than just city streets we have now had it confirmed says take a u that the visualization 
is still switching from what we know as the FSD beta UI back to the regular NOA UI. Now, Tech AU reports that it has now confirmed that the much anticipated Waypoints feature is not included in this release. Now, the big issue also is the expansion of uh, Tesla FSD. One of the big questions around this release is the long awaited button to expand the beta user group. Earlier this year, Elon Musk had suggested the group of around 2000 early access beta users would be expanded once the software was ready. With version 10, it seems they have reached a confidence level satisfactory to release it to a wider audience. We have also just had confirmation, uh, says TechAU, that new people are receiving the beta. At least one person who was granted access to early access program via email two weeks ago has now received the download for full self-driving beta 10. Elon Musk had suggested the download button would simply show up for anyone who had purchased FSD and enabled them to opt into beta. This has changed over recent weeks and months to be expanded gradually to ensure maximum safety. Now, once I said a little bit ago, once Tesla feels that the FSD is safe for general public, then they will have that request download button there. Uh, what we do know is that this will be US only for now. So those of people in other places of the world where FSD is enabled, now, those of people outside United States are likely to going to be more patient and wait a number of months. Given um, we are in September right now, getting access to full self-driving beta in Australia before the end of 2021 seems like a stretch at this point. So far, at least, it seems the release is not blowing minds, but is significantly improved. It is worth remembering that this release was originally going to be version 9.3, but was possible postponed a week and the version 10 switch to a v10 release now friends i'm looking in the general media and uh, of coverage of uh, uh, tesla fsd beta 10 and tesla discussion boards and groups where people among other things ask if this fsd beta is 10 beta 10 is mind-blowing then why is it still level 2 autonomy then what would you call the level uh, update release that is level three or level four is this good enough for robot taxis uh, ben blackburn explains in electric's comment section saying the cae level refers to amount of authority the driver is required to have over the car it doesn't have anything to do with the software capabilities by the way a couple of days ago when, when elon musk tweeted and said this FSD beta is uh, 10 is going to mind blowing. The first thing I was thinking that, oh, well, maybe this is going to take Tesla to level three autonomy or even level four. I asked him in a tweet reply, but he probably either didn't see my tweet or didn't want to reply uh, if he saw, um, but other people uh, supported my question. Does that mean this V10 was going to be level three? Obviously it's not yet, but it has some great visualizations, improvements, and um, I'm going to look forward to this and I'm actually going to look forward to other releases of FSD and see what other versions will will do in the future. Now, like I said, Elon Musk has been pretty excited and optimistic about the FSD beta 10, noting recently that the update would blow minds depending on the performance of FSD beta 10. Tesla may release its next update V10 dot one or dot two in within two weeks and these are released out without any issues if they are released out without issues then the company could finally release its request full self-driving beta button which has been promised for months so let me know friends uh, in the comment section below do you think this fsd beta 10 is mind-blowing or no why not and why yes this is armin harian from torquenews.com please subscribe to our channel and like this button if you found the report informative and i'll see you soon in our next report i have a couple of very interesting reports coming out today god bless you everyone peace be with all of you